Hello guys, in this video I will try just to um, um, to ask a question uh, uh, of one of my subscribers asking what to do before buying a stock okay what are the things that I can do before before I buy any stock it means any okay first you should search for the stocks that fit the strategy that you are having it means if you have a strategy and you are looking for certain kind of stocks in certain kind of sectors or industries and um, you want to buy those kind of stocks okay so what you should do is first you search if you have a signal like you have strategy or something before you buy first you should see um, the bid and the ask at least you will see how much split, uh, uh, slippage it means um, if the volume is is so good you will find most of the time one cent between the bid and the ask for example if you uh, if you want to buy the stock you see the ask for example it tells you it's twenty dollars one cent now see the the bid if you want to sell it shows you twenty dollars it means between the bid and ask there is only one cent so it's very really good if you buy a lot the lot is 100 shares you will lose only one dollar okay which is very really good at least you don't lose that much some stocks especially those uh, penny stocks or stocks that have low volume you will you will pay that slippage it means if you buy and you want to sell you, you don't like it because it goes down so quick and you are scared or something if you want to sell you will lose not just you will lose you will lose the price of the stock and you lose another thing another expense which is the slippage okay so try to see stocks that have good um, um, that have good uh, volume at least you don't you don't uh, spend that much money on slippage this is called slippage okay uh, second how many shares do you want to buy okay are you buying 100 1000 10,000 depending on the stock that you are in depending on how much money you have now when you uh, when you uh, calculate how, how many shares you want to buy you say to yourself if I if I buy right now the stock is for example twenty dollars one cent Okay, where should I put my stop loss? If you can do that, you are on the right path, in the right way to become a good trader. If you are scared to put the stop loss, you still have issues. And if you don't change these issues, if you don't correct yourself, if you don't take these feelings and emotions from from your trade if you if you don't stop gambling you will never be a professional trader because there are steps to become a professional trader first you should calculate your risk before you do a trade now how do you calculate the risk it's very it's very simple you bought the stock for example twenty dollars let's say you put uh, just an example you put stop loss at $19 it means if tomorrow the stock goes to 19 you will sell automatically you don't wait because the stop loss is a market order when when the price goes to for example $19 this order becomes what you call market order it means you sell with whatever price that you have in the market okay you get rid of it now how much will you lose okay you lose one hundred dollar if you buy a few if you bought uh, one hundred shares it means one lot one lot is one hundred shares okay so at least from the beginning you know how much you lose and this is the beginning of good practice a good skill you know what you are doing you know why you buy this stock okay stocks that someone tells you tips 
uh, these TV shows like uh, this Jim Kramer or I don't know or you have membership in website it will never help you and you always I don't say always but most of the time you lose your money why because the people they send you this stock you don't know their intention do you know their intention what they are doing you don't know okay don't think that someone like uh, do membership tells you to buy a good stock if if they they know that it's a good stock they will never give it to you they are into business to make money not to lose money okay and don't think that the people like online like these websites these big companies this uh, brokers they are generous in money in giving uh, information without just like this okay they are not and who knows about the future tell anyone who sent you um, who sent you um, a stock tell him do you know the future he tells you no so don't don't send me any stocks because you will search by yourself okay be confident do the trade if you see an opportunity just do the trade but think about everything before you do a trade it means you put stop loss you see the volume you see the bid and the ask uh, try to see if, if, if there is if there is another good stock better than yours better than what you want to buy maybe there are others in the same industry that's why when you have my charts it will be very easy if you enter to the same industry you will find the same stocks in the same industry that's why you can compare uh, try to find the stocks that can go fast some stocks are running fast some are slow depending on the on the industries okay this is all for what you do before the what you before you buy the stock and hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions just ask thank you very much